video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. What's up, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? Welcome back to another Black Series review. We've got Ahsoka Tano two days in a row. I'm really pumped about this figure. You know, I, I did my vintage collection version of Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian uh, on Corvus last night. And we've got the six inch version today. This just popped into my local EB game, so I jumped on it and grabbed it. I've got another one on the way, um, which I'm going to keep nice and minty in box. Um, so I just, I like keeping an extra Ahsoka. She's amazing, fantastic. So yeah, you saw how much I was pumped up with the uh, three and three quarter inch version last night, and uh, still haven't been able to put that figure down. Um, but yeah, this, is, this one looks great. Artwork on the side looks amazing. I'm definitely gonna try and savor that. Keep that image. Right up in the back, a Clone Wars veteran and now wandering Jedi, Ahsoka Tano forges her own path in a galaxy, writing injustices that she discovers. And uh, one may argue that she is more of a Jedi than any of the Jedi from the prequel era that preceded her. He just lost her way and she found her path in, in the right Jedi way, so. She is number 19 in the Mandalorian run. So I'm excited for this one. I'm going to open this one up right now and we're gonna take a look at this amazing looking figure. All right, here is this absolutely stunning figure out of the box and we'll quickly go over her accessories before we take a look at her. So she comes with both of her lightsabers, which look to me like a new sculpt from the Rebels version that came, that has come out a couple of times now. So that's nice. They've also gone with the nice bright white blade, um, as opposed to that sort of off blue, uh, that sort of tinge of blue. Just see what they were going for. But also what they've done here is the peg, I know it's gonna be really hard to see, um, but it's almost just a square rectangle, like a mini rectangle. So you're not going to twist that around in here. It's just gonna fit in one way or another. So you can't actually poke it in that way. But it will slot in that way, which is really, really nice. So don't try and twist it. <laughs> so we get the same with the Shoto. Nicely detailed, looks nice. Again, that blade just pops out and they will indeed just peg onto the side of her outfit. Like so. They seem to be holding there reasonably well. It's not like a full on hook, like we've seen with a few of the figures in the past. So they just sit there nicely. They think that looks okay. I'm, I'm cool with it. So yeah, we'll um, put them back together. And when we've had a look at the figure, we'll display them in hand, so. It's a really nice way of doing the lightsabers, what they've done there. I appreciate that. Because, you know, you, you get those double double notches and the pegs and, you know, you pop them out and sometimes they break. So this should hopefully avoid any future dramas there. So let's get a nice close-up look of Ahsoka Tano here. She looks incredible. Again, much like the three and three quarter likeness. They've nailed it. Hasbro's absolutely nailed it. This is absolutely stunning. Just, yep. Can't beat it. Um, it feels like it's been a long time coming, waiting for this figure to come out. I was so damn excited when she made her appearance in season two of The Mandalorian. And then her surprise cameo in Book of Boba Fett as well, which was just crazy, crazy. I still can't get over that. I'm still thinking about that just about every day when I wake up, thinking why? Is Ahsoka hanging out with Luke? How much have they spoken about? I think they've spoken about a lot. So yeah, really nice. Some great details again with the sculpt. Very, very similar to the three and three quarter inch version. Looks fantastic. Details on the belt and the sculpting on the uh, arm wraps. The little gauntlets on the on the arms. The, pants, the 
again they sort of done that really nicely hidden articulation that gets nice movement again like the three and three quarter inch it's very much just a blown up version of that or vice versa honestly I think it's, they've done really really well with this one Got all the articulation normally get on a six inch figure really really nice it's got the uh, armor on the bottom of the boots and on the top of the shoes so really nice just an incredible 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 likeness just absolutely nailed it in my opinion I think it's just absolutely stunning You know, we get lots of Ahsoka for many, many years to come. She's just become such a big time fan favorite, and understandably so. It's just so much passion and love has gone into building that character over a number of years. From being generally not overly l looked highly upon from the get-go, um, there were those people that sort of, you know, withheld judgment. Um, just there were those of us, like myself, that were like, how did Anakin have a paddle on? You know, but it was a case of getting the story told. And it was a long game, and it was worth every damn second. So, yeah, most of us just fell in love with Ahsoka over the years. And to see her brought to life in live action is just... Something I'll never forget, seeing that first episode, I remember I remember exactly how that happened on that night when I was watching it. Just blown away. Do I still think this figure could have come with a bit of a poncho and a hood? Yes, absolutely, but to have this figure in hand like this, perfect. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Please send it in the comments below. Again, this one has just started showing up at EB Games and Zing Pop Culture here in Australia, so keep your eyes open, check the website, check your locations, try and track one down. There shouldn't be any shortages, but uh, yeah, this wave is sort of slowly being drip fed. Looks like they're just sort of getting cases of figures coming in, um, not necessarily in any particular order. So yeah, we should sort of start seeing more from this wave in the coming weeks. So yeah, just stay tuned to your to your local websites and, and stuff and see when people are getting stuff in. And I've got a list of awesome Australian uh, websites down in the description below. And uh, yeah, go check them out. So yeah, again, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate this. Um, what has we done with this figure? I appreciate you all for hanging out and watching. Just, yeah, I'm absolutely blown away. So thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Till then, may the force be with you always.